Hey, I am so glad you are here. It means a lot to me that you are listening to the Ellery Wells Show. And I'm going to change things up just a little bit today because I had something planned. And then I didn't have something planned. And then I was like, you know what? Let's do kind of some updates. Nothing pre-scheduled. Uh, although I do have a clip I'll I'll play for you here in a minute. But... Uh, let's just talk about some of the things that have been going on, some things that uh, I emailed my community. So if you're not, by the way, if you're not part of my email community, if you've not signed up for uh, one of my lists to receive resources, things like that, go to ellerywells.com slash awesome. Throw in your email address. I'll send you free stuff. I mean, I, I mean, if you're a podcast listener, you probably know the drill by now. Right, you know, you go in and you go to a website, you give your email, you get on the list, you get marketed to, all that kind of stuff. Well, I do some marketing, but I also share what Russell Brunson calls Seinfeld emails, you know, just some some updates, and that's kind of what I want to talk about here in the next couple of minutes, and then we'll go into what I had originally scheduled, but I just wanted to to take a moment at the beginning of the show today and say thank you for tuning in. Let me play my intro. You can hit forward 30 seconds and skip it if you want, or you can uh, you can tune in and hear a little bit about my story, and then uh, I will share with you what I shared with my community. I'll be right back. I'm not one of those entrepreneurs who gave up their six-figure salary and fancy office to start a business, and I wasn't selling lemonade to my neighbors when I was seven. I wasn't born an entrepreneur, and I never laid awake at night dreaming of owning my own business. My name is Ellery Wells, and I was forced to make a decision. Welcome to the Ellery Wells Show, where we talk with real entrepreneurs about real problems that they're facing and real solutions on how they are overcoming obstacles, achieving their goals, and making a difference in the world. If you're an entrepreneur or an aspiring entrepreneur, this is the place to be to help you start, build, or grow your business. Okay, and we're back. So I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day here in Round Rock. I, s- I probably say that quite a bit. We get some really great weather here. And I know it's like snowing up in the northeast part of the United States right now. Uh, one of my, in, in, during my one, one uh, in my mastermind call yesterday, uh, one of my clients had like five boys over at her house because I guess friends came over and, uh, they, it was a snow day, but I hope you're having a, a wonderful day and warm and safe wherever you are. But I wanted to talk about three things. And again, if you are on my email list, you got an email from me. Let's see, today was Wednesday, March the 15th, and I emailed, Everybody, Tuesday the 14th yesterday about all of this stuff. And by the way, check your promotions tab. If you are signed up for my email list and you haven't gotten anything from me in a while, check your promotions tab. My wife tells me all my emails go in there, even when there's not an offer. Like I don't, I don't like click here to buy. I rarely, rarely, rarely do that in my email, but they always go to promotions. But we're going to talk about slow time funks. You know, you get into a funk when things get slow, what you can do and what you can't do. Uh, some things that you might want to explore for uh, your your tax time money when you get that return. We're doing all of those things right now. I've got my uh, Texas franchise taxpayer email thing here from the comptroller. When the last episode we talked about Wave Apps, which has really streamlined this process for me, um, we're going to talk about that. And then I'm going to I want to share with you before we go into the business of working for free and creating value. First, I'm going to give you some dates and some locations, and if you are in those locations on those dates or if you live there or are going to a, some of the events that I am attending I would love to meet with you just shake your hand give you a hug and we'll we'll talk about those things but those are the three things we're going to share or I'm going to share with you and then we'll go into what I had actually planned for today so number 1 slow time funks now I published this email 
on my site, ellerywells.com slash honeymoon, but this will actually be show 16. So I'm going to put this uh, at ellerywells.com slash show 16 if I can knock this out in the next few minutes before my next mastermind call. But anyway, uh, if you want to see that email, check your promotions tab maybe or go to slash honeymoon. But uh, yesterday morning I had a call with some of my extremely successful business owner clients. And I have kind of two two groups of people that work with me in the aspect of a mastermind. Uh, beginners, people who are still forming their ideas. We're not talking like, what is WordPress? How do I do a post and page or anything like that? But we're talking about formulating some strategy, uh, getting some clarity around their idea. But then I'm also working with a group of people who are already fairly successful. They've, they're making sometimes, well, a few of them more than $10,000 a month in their business. And we're not talking about like, I almost said hokey coaching, but anybody can say they're a coach, right? Some of them are financial advisors. Some of them are social media, uh, marketing managers. One guy buys and sells some furniture. So we're, we're talking about, uh, business. I don't want to downplay online businesses or coaching businesses because that's the business that I'm in. But I'm saying that because they have a different type of business than what, uh, what I have and what some of you have emailed me about saying that you want to start. But these guys combined last year, 2016, brought in over $700,000 in this, in this one group. But yesterday's call was just kind of like, yeah, is all right. Because in business, like with everything else where there that you can have new, there's a honeymoon period, which is why you can find this at slash honeymoon. There's a honeymoon period when things are great, everybody's happy, and the future just looks amazing. And that's kind of like when you're starting a business. It's kind of like when these guys started working with me in a mastermind, I think right at, right close at the beginning of the year. But then that honeymoon ends and reality sets in and you're forced to face the results of your actions with either a smile or that was a face palm. I hope that came out in the uh, the audio. I haven't listened, edited this part yet, but um, that was a face palm. Like when you're like, uh, that didn't go quite well. And I think that's where my clients were this morning. In January, the new year is still fresh and exciting. And in, and in February... When you attack January with all of your energy, like when you go to the gym and you've set your New Year's resolutions or you want to call 100 prospects for your business, all that stuff starts to pay off in February and all of your energies from the previous month are getting results and you're like, heck yeah. And then March rolls around and you start feeling all of those hours building up. My One of my coaching clients said it was like I was heaping mounds i thought i said ta- uh, tossing bricks or throwing bricks and no she said it's like you're heaping mounds of bricks <laughs> so we've been working hard the last the last couple of months but you feel all of your energy that you have spent in january and february building up even if you're listening to this in the future you probably if you're if it's a time where you're just you know going all in and putting all of your energy towards it this is coming, or maybe you have done that and, and you can relate to this immediately, but you begin to feel tired and you wonder how long you can sustain this this growth, how long you can keep up this momentum. I compared it to March being like that last bit of coffee in the morning before you go to lunch, and I was I was there a couple hours ago, it's Wednesday, you know, I, I go and have my coffee meetings, but it's a little bit too late to brew another cup, but it's a little bit too early for beer. I mean, tea, iced tea, mom, iced tea with lunch. Uh, and for that matter, August, you're talking about March being that Monday morning. August is like 3 p.m. when your lunch energy is worn off and you've gotten sidetracked. But that's beside the point. During our slow time when your energy wanes and your results start to slow, that's when most people quit. And maybe you've quit yourself you've been to that point you have crossed that bridge and you're like yeah i just can't do this anymore i'm not quite getting the results that i want i'm tired i thought this would be easier most people quit right then and they feel like they can't go any further and instead of getting the support the guidance or the coffee uh, that they need 
they pack it in and they go back to what's comfortable. I can relate to that even as I say it because I, I it's like, okay, the business isn't going like I want. It's more work and the, the results aren't what I am expecting. Or I can just go back and sit on the nail. And if you know what I'm talking about, the dog and the nail story from Exit Strategy, you know exactly what I'm talking about where you're just kind of comfortable in your uncomfort, your discomfort. You're not quite miserable enough to go all in. And when most people quit is when successful people, which I want you to be, it's just when, when most people quit, successful people dig in and go hunting for their second wind. And when other people get tired, successful people dig deep and put in the work anyway. When slow times hit, don't quit, don't give up, and don't lose your momentum. And I'll throw out something for you real quick. If If this connects with you and you're like, I I feel so alone and I feel like I'm spinning my wheels and I don't know what to do. Think about one of my coaching or mastermind packages. You probably know the links ellerywells.com slash mastermind, ellerywells.com slash coach. Someone to encourage you, keep you motivated and moving forward and accountable to the goals that you have set for yourself. The other thing we want to talk about are tax things. And like I mentioned before, I've been doing my taxes the last few weeks, get everything ready to submit, and WAVE has really helped. Again, I'm not promote, mentioning that because I get any sort of money or I don't even have an affiliate link for them. But WAVEapps.com, I would recommend that you check that out. But anyway, talking about taxes sucks. <laughs> that'd, be a funny, uh, that'd be a funny replay thing. Side note, totally random, totally off topic. You know how your videos pull your thumbnail, like a thumbnail from the middle of the video? One of my friends was was talking about like the many faces of Ellery. He had pulled up all of my video thumbnails, I think in his Facebook feed or something, and you get some goofy expressions from me, and I'm sure if you <laughs> send me a screenshot <laughs> of that, if you've done the same thing or you find it or whatever, just send it to me. I'd love to just... <laughs> I'd love to poke some fun at myself, but I know talking about sucks, uh, talking about tax, so taxes sucks. So uh, let's talk about tax returns, those refunds, which by the way, if you're getting a refund, you have overpaid and the government isn't paying you interest on your money. So get with somebody to help you fix that. But if you are getting a return, this is the perfect time to roll uh, that money into something that you can use to leverage for your own success. I mentioned it, coaching, mastermind. Don't blow your money on new speakers. Polk's Audio had a sale last uh, last week at Best Buy. Man, I almost bought me a whole new surround sound. Uh, don't blow it on vacations and don't get a uh, a new 4K TV, although they're getting really cheap that's the kind of stuff i like talking about guys you know i love gadgets and electronics don't do that invest in yourself put your money to good use and make the decision to work with me ellery as uh, your coach or something in 2017 and i promise you i will do everything to help you get moving but if that's not of interest to you if you're like yeah stop talking about coaching ellery check out episode uh 80 Episode 80 of the Empowered Podcast, if you're on iTunes or whatever in your feed, just scroll back, you know, thumb through a little bit and go to 80. And it's uh, how you can use your tax refund to invest in your business, not coaching, but products like hosting packages, software for landing pages, those kinds of things. I think you might like that one. I, I would say empoweredpodcast.com slash 80, but I have swapped out where that domain routes to, so you won't get what you're looking for. But if you go to ellerywells.com slash show, or um, I think slash learn, you can find all the resources. But search for search for Empowered Podcast 80. That's, my, that's what this show was before I changed the name. And uh, you'll find you'll find some resources. Okay, let's talk about meeting. Can we meet? I don't often to get my get to meet my readers in person. It's one of the coolest things you get to do when you're sitting behind the microphone, when you're writing books or blog posts or something like that. To get somebody who has who has read your material and meet them in person for the first time, it is one of the coolest things. And I would love for <laughs> this sounds so weird. I would love for you to give me that opportunity. Now, I I would love to meet you. I really would. And so I'm gonna share 
a couple, like I said, dates and locations. And if you're in the area, let's let's meet for lunch. I can sign your book if you bought Exit Strategy, buy a cup of coffee or something like that. And in June, at the end of June, the 26th through the 30th, I'm going to be in Washington, D.C. August 21 to 26, I'll be in Anaheim, California. In September, the 28th through the 30th, probably a little bit at, uh, on either side of that, either early or after. I'll be in Las Vegas, Nevada again. Do you even need to say Nevada? I mean, it's Las Vegas, or just Vegas. And like I said, if you're in the area, I'd love to meet you. And if you're in or around Anaheim, which if you're a podcaster, this might be of interest to you. Let me know if it is. I might be holding a one-day mastermind where you can learn from me, interact with some of my clients, and connect with other entrepreneurs and podcasters to build your business. I don't know. It'll it'll be a few hundred bucks. I, I didn't talk about this on the blog post, but my coaching clients, uh, what is uh, what is two? What is twenty five hundred by six? Twenty five hundred divided by six. That's four hundred and sixteen dollars an hour for some of my coaching clients. So I might do five hundred bucks for the day. That might be of interest to you, and we would do a half day. I might throw in some lunch, but if that if you're going to be in Anaheim for podcast movement, August twenty one to twenty six ish, let me know, and I will I will pour into you as much entrepreneurial knowledge as I possibly can. Uh, just shoot me an email. Let me know, Ellery at ElleryWells dot com. If you haven't already purchased Exit Strategy. I just, oh, this is one of the things I was going to tell you. My ads account on Facebook was shut down and it was a mistake. I didn't do anything wrong. They got it back up and running. So I've got a few more ads going right now. So you might see one, but if you go to Ellery, yeah, Elleriewells.com slash free, you can get exit strategy. It's $8.84. That covers the cost of printing and paper and shipping it to your front door. I promise you I'm not making any money. If you listen to the last few episodes, you've probably heard me talking about this. You might have even seen it in your, your news feed on Facebook. But after you submit your order, a week later, my 293-page book will arrive, and you can get one of my favorite resources and tools and begin building your business the way I wish I had known existed back in 2014 when I got fired from my job. Yep, I didn't get laid off. I didn't quit. I didn't leave. I got fired. And that entire story of how that happened is in Exit Strategy. I'm pretty sure I didn't leave any details out. And it's um, it's not always pretty. There was a, there was a lot of crying between... Uh, well, mostly my wife. I probably cried a little bit too, but that's that's in there. And one last thing before we go into the your previously scheduled content. Uh, what types of resources, information, tools, guidance, etc. do you need help with where you are in your business? I want to know because... Well, I'll 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 give you the business side and then I'll give you the emotional side. The business side is I'd love to create a product that would streamline the process for you or if you tell me and then you decide to hire me as a coach or mastermind, I can I can give you that resource and help you. The emotional side is I can't tell you how many people email me, Facebook message me, tweet me and say I know what you mean and I'm sick to my stomach too. Every single time I think about work, I mentioned, I think, I don't know if it was on the podcast or, or on one of my Facebook day video stories things, but I was talking to a young guy, he's like 22, 23 years old, and he was telling me the same thing. I mean, can you remember, can you think back to when you were 22 years old thinking, man, life sucks? I, <laughs> that's why I want to know these the answer to these questions, guys, so I can provide the, the the tools, resources, you know, help point you in the right direction so you don't have to or your son or your daughter doesn't have to sit in their car before they go walking into the office just dreading their day. It makes me it oh it makes me mad just even talking about it. But is there something that I can help you with? Maybe it's time management, maybe it's staying focused, a tool, uh uh, an outline to follow, questions to answer, something like that. How can I help you? What do you need? And and how can I point you in the right direction and make you successful at whatever 
you are trying. So, okay, let me, uh, it's going to sound like a new show, but um, you don't have to do anything. I'm going to queue up the rest of show 16. I got a mastermind call to hop on here in seven minutes, and then we are, Ashley and I are going out of town. Mini vacation slash business trip. We're going to go meet one of my friends and business partners and hang out with him and his family and his wife over the next few days. So I've got to publish and ready. So, all right, here, let's do it. Would you hire the greatest painter in the world if you've never seen anything that he's painted before? What we're all doing is we're not selling playstations off of a store we don't have a brand that we can leverage we can't say oh we're selling uh sony or microsoft products or something like that we have to we have to show people because i i've had had this conversation with people and i and i came up with like what i think might be a, a good analogy it's like you might have you might be pablo picasso of what you do but if nobody can see it if, would you hire the greatest painter in the world if you've never seen anything that he's painted before? And the answer is no. But so many people are afraid to paint the first thing because they, they, they want to make money from it or they don't have the time or fill in the blank. But they, they want to sell a painting, but nobody's ever seen their work. And I had, I, I don't know how many blog posts before um, I made a dollar. It was probably close to 80 or 90. Um, so we're talking tens of thousands of words. And you, we've just got to, we've got to show people in an in abundance how good we are because each one of you is really good. Tactically, it's an SEO friendly headline. It's tags in the video. It's a description or a link or how you embed it on your website or something like that. But it's doing things that make us known to other people. You just got to go and do the work. What's up, sports fans? What you just heard, I don't know why I said sports fans. I'm not a sports fan. Anyway, what you just heard was a part, a clip of what I shared with one of my mastermind groups this week. When we are so focused about making money, we often lose sight of the goal. Money is not everything, but money buys everything. But when we get so caught up and focused on making money our customers and our clients can see that and they whether it's true or not they might perceive us as being all about the money when when they're spending their hard-earned dollars they're taking that into account but they're also looking at what kind of results they're going to get but that's not all that we're going to talk about today the next thing is i'm going to also play you a clip oh man i'm so sorry i just realized i had the wrong microphone selected but you know what that's that happens why if you're thinking about how can i make money fast why that's the wrong question i'm going to share some of the advice that i received a few years ago and what question you should be asking instead and then finally we will wrap up this shorter episode of the ellery well show we'll wrap up with a tip that i came up with just uh using a hobby that i have picked up over the last few weeks so A handful of times over the last few weeks, a common question has come up from some of my clients, uh, other people that I have talked to, and it's basically a version of how do I make money fast in my business? What can I do today that will get me profit or get me revenue, get me cash that I can hold in my hand as soon as possible? Well, that's the wrong question. And before I tell you the right question, let me tell you some of the advice that I got in 2014 from my friend Cliff Ravenscraft. I met him for the first time at a conference, and I asked him a very similar question, except my question was, since he's the podcast answer man, my question was targeted to how can I make money with my podcast as soon as possible. And he told me that I was also asking the wrong question, but he said, don't focus on the money. The money will come later. Be so good they can't ignore you. And I think Cliff might have been quoting someone else when he said that, but that leads us to the real question that you should be asking, and that's, what can I be so good at that people are forced 
to pay attention to me? What can I be the best at? What can I be an expert at? How can I leverage my strengths and my talents to be truly world-class and phenomenal? That's the question you should be asking, not how can I make money as quick and as fast as possible. Let me maybe reward you with something that I just thought of as a way to make money. If you've been following my Facebook posts, you'll know that this is a brand new camera and I'm, I'm using a, a cool microphone on the top of it. But I just had this idea since I've been thinking about cameras and how to use them for for my business. So cameras combined with this question of how you can make money. Most people don't spend a whole lot of time researching anything. We've we've become a society of quick wins, how to get quick results, uh, how to get what we want now instead of having to wait for it. So we don't research just a whole lot anymore. So here's how I think you could make money today. If you invested in a camera such as this one, this one is a pretty nice Canon EOS 80D, but you don't have to buy this one, or you could borrow one like it, or you could get a 60 or 70D, you get a nice camera, or even one of the lower to mid-range DSLRs like a T4, I think they're T's, or T6i, or something like that, for less than a thousand dollars, you could buy some equipment, and then walk down your street, is anybody selling a house? Think about when you bought your house or when you were buying or look, if you're looking to buy a house, where do you go to look? Sure, you could go to Remax or, or Century 21 or, or whoever. Keller Williams is a big one. You could go to all of these places and search through their listings. But more and more common are people sharing things on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, those kinds of things. I don't know how many times. I've seen this. People are sharing pictures of their house trying to sell it. They are doing the job of their realtor uh, to, in, in addition to the realtor, or possibly um, saving that money and trying to sell it themselves. What if you went to that person, you had your, your camera in hand, you knocked on their door, and you said, hey, I noticed you were selling your house or trying to sell your house. Would you mind if I came in and took some professional photographs? I'll do it for free. I'll give you all of the images and you just pay me what you think it's worth at the end. You can use, you can give them to your realtor or you can post them on your Facebook page, whatever. I'm just trying to get, uh, some, get some business for, for my photography business. You don't even have to have a photography business. You don't have to have a business card. If they say no, nothing lost. You just go down to the next house that's trying, someone trying to sell. And if they say yes, you might get, you know, 50, 60, 70 dollars. Or let's say it was only, let's do easy math. Let's say they gave you 50 bucks. You walked around for 30 minutes. You went back to your house. You deleted all the blurry images or the ones that weren't fantastic. And then you just put it on a flash drive that you bought at Home Depot for $1.99 at the cashier's desk. And then you dropped it off. You probably made more money in that hour that it would take you than you prob, than you do at your day job. I'm just guessing. If you make $20 an hour, that's about $40,000 a year. If in one hour you made 50 bucks, you can see where the math gets on your side pretty fast. So is how do you get money fast? How do you generate revenue for your business fast? The wrong question. What can you be the best at? What can you be the expert at? And how can you be so good? Or what can you be so good at that nobody can ignore your talent and your skills? And then what are you willing to do to pound the payment? and go out and get it. All right, thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Ellery Wells Show. Uh, hey, so what did you think about this type of material for the podcast? So this was a, a clip from some mastermind calls that was repurposed, and those are all video. So I took that and put that into a video, turned that into a, a quick lesson, shared that on Facebook. I think I might have uploaded them to YouTube. But have you seen that? Before the last nine minutes or so, have you heard that material? Is that something that you have already seen? Was it redundant? And I, I, I just want to make sure that I am helping you. Like I mentioned in uh, episode 13 or show 13, about making sure I'm or trying to condense or merge some of the paths that I have gotten myself on to create the most cohesive path of information and instruction that I possibly can. So if this is duplicate, 
let me know. Shoot me an email. Actually, here's here's what I would love for you to do. Don't shoot me an email. Let's keep track of all of the the responses and get some of the maybe some community collaboration and feedback. Go to elleriewells.com slash show one six show sixteen and scroll down to the bottom. Leave me a comment there because I want uh, if you've got an idea and another listener has an idea, let's try to you know, get those ideas together and we'll come up with something fantastic that meets the needs of everybody or at least gives uh, a voice to everybody and then gets meets the needs of the most possible people. We can't meet the needs of, of everybody. That's that's a unreasonable expectation. So from Round Rock, Texas, it's a beautiful day here today in uh, in Texas. I'm your host, Ellery Wells. We'll see you next time. Go do something awesome.